So in terms of black-legged ticks and western black-legged ticks, we don't see as many in Alberta. If you are planning to enjoy nature in Alberta, should you be worried about being bitten by a tick carrying Lyme disease? Justin Wood is a scientist based out of Ontario who runs a tick testing company. Wood says Alberta is not the usual place to find the black-legged tick that can be carriers of the Lyme disease causing bacteria. But this year, they did test a tick from an Alberta hiker that was positive for the Lyme bacteria. So we do know that there are some ticks there that carry Lyme disease. And I think the big question is whether those populations have established. So if they're, uh, you know, sort of self-sustaining there, or if all these ticks that we find have kind of been transported there on birds or mammals and been dropped there. Annika Meng is an outdoor enthusiast with her young family. She has even written a book on hiking in Alberta. The Mangs did have an experience with a tick that embedded in their baby. It happened when they were abroad, but the risk of contacting a tick when out in nature is there. Don't let the scariness of ticks keep you from getting outside because it is so worth it and there's ways to protect yourself. And you can easily check yourself at the end of every hike, whether you have a tick on yourself. So keep on getting out there, keep on adventuring and don't let these things stop you. According to a Government of Alberta website, between 1991 and 2020, there were 132 human cases of Lyme disease reported to Alberta Health. All were reported as having been acquired while traveling outside of the province. You can Google Alberta ticks and the government website will come up that has information that can help you protect yourself from ticks if you're out in nature. Time will tell in surveillance. Uh, so as long as people are finding these ticks and submitting them to, you know, organizations like ours or to public health who can identify them, then, you know, we'll continue to see if they're moving into those areas or not. Um, but if, you know, people just find them and throw them out or crush them, then we're less likely to kind of pick up that information. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.